Ok. Si me pueden decir si ya se empezó a grabar la fiesta, por favor. Sí, ya, ya. Ok, ok. Thank you so much. Can you still see my screen? Yes. Ok. Um, let's continue, please. Alicia, can you introduce yourself? Ok. <laughs> Uh, my name is Alice. Uh, I'm from uh, Mexico City. I work uh, uh, I work uh, uh, IT consultant at Vista. Uh, in my free time, I like uh, play play basketball and watch movies or serials. Uh, um, that's it. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Alicia. Um, what's your favorite movie? Mm, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> I okay. like different movies, but um, I have a, a favorite. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, but do you have a favorite genre of movies? Mm, uh, the Hunger Games or... Mm, the I, I don't know how pronounce but the conquering yes yeah. okay the conquering <laughs> yeah okay okay that's nice thank you Alicia um let's continue please Rodrigo can you introduce yourself yeah well hi um, I'm Rodrigo um I'm from Mexico City actually I work in Vista, uh, I'm an application consultant. Um, I don't have a lot of free time, but when I can, maybe I watch, uh, I don't know, a series or a movie. Um, okay. Only that. <laughs> okay, thank you. And what's your favorite movie? I don't have uh, a specific movie, but I'm a Marvel team, so maybe whatever with Marvel, I can see. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Um, Daniel, can you please introduce yourself? Um, yes, um, hello, my name is Daniel. I'm from Mexico. Um, I am a senior application consultant in the project team. Um, okay. In my free time, I... Uh, like uh, go to the gym and I love tax. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. And um, what's your favorite tax? Um, Sodero. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Todo ya se presentaron, chicos. You know. So is anybody missing? I think sí. yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. So let's continue with our lesson. Or do you have any question, questions about me? Do you want to know anything else about me? No. OK. So if you have any other questions, please uh, don't be shy and turn on your microphone and ask me, and I'll be here to help you. Well, let's continue with the purpose of this course. What's the purpose of this course? Well, we have three main objectives during this uh, during this time. You will be learning the language. First one is to learn the language, the English language itself. Then um, you already have a level of English, so you're going to improve that knowledge you already have. And finally, to learn English for businesses. And for that, uh, we're going to learn this specific part of the English um, in the following lessons. Ok, tenemos tres objetivos principales en esta clase. El primero es, pues, seguir aprendiendo el idioma inglés. El segundo, ustedes ya tienen un nivel de inglés y lo van a estar mejorando en cada, en cada clase. Y por último, aprender inglés para negocios, pero eso lo aprenderemos en las próximas lecciones. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. 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 okay. Sí. 
Okay. Well, um, during these following two weeks, we're going to be analyzing uh, the four English language skills. Uh, if you already know, um, there are four English language skills. And the first one is speaking, then listening, reading, and writing. Well, when we say that someone speaks language fluently, we usually mean that they have a high level in all four skills. Um, but as any teacher knows, uh, learners often have strengths and weaknesses in particular skills. And in some cases, they uh, can achieve high levels in some, uh, for example, reading and writing while not being able to speak and listen at a comparable level. Well, let's continue. Well, for some purposes, uh, highly specialized jobs, for example, uh, these uneven skills may not be that important very much. However, English is such an important skill in the global world and it's needed in different contexts and also can give you different and uh, several opportunities in the academic and the professional fields. Okay, aquí me refiero a que en el inglés existen cuatro, cuatro habilidades que son muy importantes desarrollarlas. Es el habla, la escucha, eh, la lectura y la escritura. Y nos referimos que cuando alguien es, cuando habla un idioma eh, de manera fluida, Decimos que esta persona eh, eh, tiene un alto nivel en cada una de esas cuatro habilidades. Eh, pero eso no significa que esa persona no sea competente en, en el idioma. En algunas ocasiones, eh, una persona puede ser buena en el speaking y el listening, pero no es tan buena escribiendo o leyendo. Y es muy importante que cada uno de ustedes desarrolle estas cuatro habilidades dentro del idioma inglés. Eh, porque si ustedes desarrollan estas cuatro habilidades dentro del idioma, ustedes pueden tener más oportunidad, oportunidades, ya sea en el ámbito académico o en el ámbito profesional. ¿Es that okay? Do you have any questions with this? No. 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 Okay. In this lesson, we're going to be um, analyzing your speaking. Uh, what's the speaking? The speaking is the ability to speak confidently and fluently. The speaking skills are defined as the skills which allow us to communicate effectively. Uh, they give us the ability to convey information uh, verbally and in a way that it's the listener can understand. Well, speaking is an interactive process where information is shared and, if necessary, uh, acted upon by the listener. So it's important to develop both speaking and listening skills in order to communicate effectively. Yeah. Well, do you have any questions? No. No. Let's continue. Yes, please. Do you have a question? No, it's good. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to start practicing our speaking skill. We're going to do two activities uh, in order for you to start talking and start practicing the language itself. Well, our first activity is called describe the picture. Here we have uh, instructions. First, you have to look at the picture carefully and take a few moments to think before you start talking. Then you're going to talk for about three minutes um, and it's important that you use every second and you have to use as much vocabulary as possible to describe each picture. OK, here we have an example. OK, it's starting. Well, can you see the picture? Yes. yes. Well, here we have uh, a cinema, a picture of a couple. 
And what you have to do is to describe the picture. For example, uh, you can say, in this picture, I can see a couple. They are at the movies. I think they are watching a movie. And that seems to be really interesting because of how they look. They are smiling and they also seem to be very excited about the movie. And they are eating popcorns and drinking sodas. And I, and I can also see a few people more in the back. They are also enjoying the movie. Uh, that's an that's an example. Uh, is that okay? Do you have any questions? No, it's okay. Okay, we'll continue. Um, here we have some pictures and a video. It's starting. Okay. Okay, who wants to start with the game? With the game? Or do I choose someone? Okay, uh, Benjamin, can you start? Can you choose a number? Benjamin, are you still there? Sorry, sorry, number two. Okay. Well, you have picture number one. And let's see what's in picture number one. Playing video games. And can you please describe this picture? You have three minutes. Okay, you can start. Sorry, sorry. Um, can you please describe this picture? Okay, okay. I I see the, the picture. I it, at this picture I I see uh, two boys playing video games and sitting in the sofa. Okay. What else can you tell me about this picture? Do you see anything else in this picture? Um, How are the guys feeling? Okay, it's that okay. I can help you to describe this picture. But you can say, um, in this picture, there are two children. They are playing video games. And as you mentioned, they are sitting in the sofa or the couch. And I can see that they are smiling because they are enjoying the game. And in the back, I can see that it's a kitchen and there are some stuff. And they are wearing, I don't know, the first guy is wearing a gray t-shirt and brown pants. And the second children is wearing a red t-shirt and jeans. Is that okay, Benjamin? So, yes, sorry, sorry, my, my internet is it's failing. That's okay, don't worry. So let's continue. Uh, I, I, I got a question for Benjamin Jose, can I? Yes. Okay, Benjamin. Hello, Benjamin. My name is Miguel. Benjamin. How are you, Benjamin? Hello, Benjamin. How are you? Sorry. How are you, Benjamin? Sorry. I. Hi. 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 Fine. 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 And you? Very good, Benjamin. Do you like video games? See, 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes. How often do you play video games? How uh, in in I play video games with my with my son. Okay. Sometimes in in your play PlayStation. Okay. Um, phone phone with, with them. Very good, very good. Thank, thank you, thank you. Please continue, Jose. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, teacher. Well, let's continue with Alicia. Can you choose a number? Mm, yes. Yeah. Uh, number four. Four, okay. Let's see what's in number four. Well, you have picture number three. Okay. Let's see what's in picture number three. Well, at college. Yeah, can you please describe this picture? Uh, yes. Uh, there are uh, one, two, three, four, five. I maybe, I think uh, maybe students. Uh, I see three girls and two guys. Uh, I see uh, um, gafas. Glasses. <laughs> and okay. box and, and cell phone in the table. Uh, the first guy uh, used a t-shirt blue. Uh, this second the the, the one uh, girls uh, have a blonde hair and skirt uh, the sec the second girls uh, have a blonde no um I, I do not remember how do you say uh ah yes a brown hair and um I don't know this year. <laughs> and the second uh, man uh, used a uh, this year uh, red, black red. I, I don't. I don't remember how do you say Bino. And the the finally uh, have a uh, a uh, black uh, hair and the t shirt black. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Alicia. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, where do you study at uh, the university? Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, but where, what's the name of your university? Do you uh, study? Uh, no, I don't, I don't see uh, the name. Okay, uh, but you. Do you, do you study or did you study at the university? Yeah. Okay, where? Uh, in a uh, bibliothecary, maybe. Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a classroom, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, my question is for you. Um, where do you study? Where did you study? Ah, I I study uh, in a uh, Politecnico. Okay, okay, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wait, continue, uh, please. Um, let me see. Uh, Sebastian. Can you choose a number? This uh, three. Okay. okay. Picture number four. Let's see what's in picture number four. At the office. Well, can you describe this picture? Yes, I see one six persons with wearing their mask. Um, I think that the time of that photo it's in COVID pandemic. Okay. Uh, 
They are looking a uh, laptop. I think the person with the suite it's teach, teaching to all the members of the team. And I think they are something like uh, lawyers. Uh, they are in a building, in a very nice building. Um, and I don't know, they are four women and two men. Uh, I think it's New York City because uh, in the background I see many buildings. Um, and I think that's all. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, uh, Sebastian. Um, at the office where you work, and does it look like this one? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I see uh, office like that. Okay. Um, and do you have to go to your office, or do you work virtually nowadays? Oh, I work from my house and uh, sometimes I go to the office. Okay, thank you so much, Sebastian. You're welcome. Let's continue with uh, Rodrigo, please. Okay. Can you choose a number? Yeah. Um, one, please. Okay. So we have picture number two. Okay. Let's see what's in picture at the restaurant. Uh, can you please describe this picture? Okay. Well, mm, I'm a lot of uh, person in the re at the restaurant. Uh, maybe it's a, a breakfast because it's in the morning. So um, the two boys in front of us it's it's um a drinking a coffee um maybe it's not on the pandemic because all the person it's without i don't know what focus i don't know mask. Uh, oh, yeah mask sorry um Maybe it's a good place because all are uh, smile. <laughs> um, it's a, a good place. Maybe uh, I going I can going to to do to this place. Uh, it's friendly with uh, nature because have a uh, plant. Mm, maybe. Mm, I don't know. Um, no, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. It's all. <laughs> uh, thank you. That was a nice description. Um, do you often go to restaurants? Mm, yeah, uh, nowadays not really because the pandemic, okay. but okay. maybe two or three years ago, uh, one or two times at Mount. Okay, and do you have a favorite restaurant or do you go anywhere? Not really. Maybe when if I I wish something, maybe go to the to the speciality to to do. Okay, thank you so much, Rodrigo. We have uh, one number left. Uh, please. Let me see, Alejandro. Yes. It's number five. Let's see. Which picture? Picture five. Okay. Let's see what's in picture number five. Uh, at a nightclub. Can you describe this picture, please? Yeah. I yeah. see three girls and um, one boy. Dancing. Okay. Uh, maybe they have a a birthday. Um, uh, the boy has a 
white t-shirt and one woman half black dress i'm not sure if it's a dress or a shirt uh, the other looks like a, a wine dress and the other half white shirt t-shirt yeah and maybe in the back it looks like it's a dj playing i'm not sure uh, i think <laughs> that's all okay thank you uh do you like dancing uh no <laughs> uh, okay and uh, so you don't usually go to nightclubs no <laughs> okay not, not really <laughs> thank you so much thanks let's continue we have a second oh, well do you have any questions with this activity no no no, no. okay but well, we have a second activity so you can speak more um, this activity is called what would you do in this situation and the instruction says uh, read the sentence and find a solution to the situation. The following questions can be useful. What would you do in this situation? Why? Have you ever been in a situation like this before? And what do you do to solve it? Uh, here we have an example. Uh, the situation says, I failed my English test. La prueba en examen inglés. And you can say, for example, what would you do in this situation? In this situation, I would probably be so sad because I failed my English test. And if you have if you have been in this situation, for example, you can say, I have been in this situation before and I felt really bad because I failed my test. And what did I do to solve it? I had to study more for a few more days so I can get good grades in the following test. It's, is that okay? Do you have any questions? Okay, okay, it's good. Okay. And the others? No. No, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Let's do the same. In this case, I'm going to start choosing the first student. Okay. I'm going to start with number four. Let's see who is in number four. Okay, Sebastian. Can you choose a number? Situation one to five. Uh, situation two. Okay, let's see what's in situation number two. Well, I spend my money on something unnecessary. Uh, That's what would you do my you day. <laughs> Sorry? What was the question? That's my day. That's all my <laughs> days. <laughs> uh, what would you do in this situation? Well, um, I feel sad <laughs> because I say I don't need this thing, but I buy, I bought that that thing. Okay. Uh, do you usually buy things that don't you really need? Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, uh, can you mention one thing that you usually buy? Um, don't you really need it? Oh, yes. Uh, I have in front of me uh, two uh, Android toys. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I, I bought two Android toys, and when I bought, I say, oh, it's very cool. But uh, then I say, well, that I don't need that toys. Oh. Okay, okay. Thank you, Sebastian. You're welcome. 
Well, let's continue. Um, so, Stan, can you choose a number? One of these? Uh, five. Okay, let's see who is in number five. Alicia. Okay, can you choose a situation, Alicia? Um, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, I forgot to water my plants. Oh, it's sad. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation like this before? What? Sorry? Um, has this situation happened to you? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, um, what would you do in this situation? Mm, because I now remember or, <laughs> or I uh, have uh, other activities. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, do you have plants at home? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you usually water them? Uh, no, it's depend. Uh, uh, it's depend at season because uh, normally uh, I check the the um, plants. <laughs> And uh, after a uh, uh, water, uh, water it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Alicia. Yeah. Uh, can you choose a number, please? Uh, number one. Okay. Let's see who's in number one. Uh, Alejandro. Yes. Situation. Uh, maybe situation five. Five. Okay. Well, I forgot my best friend's birthday. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> uh, maybe I forgot my best friend's birthday because I'm very, very busy. Okay. But I trying to to send a message or call with him to explain and maybe to do a, a plan for another day. Okay. Okay, that's a good explanation. Um, have you ever forgotten your best friend's birthday or the birthday of someone else? Uh, yes, maybe I forgot mine. <laughs> <laughs> your birthday? Because, okay. yeah, because I, I don't know what day is it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, when do you, what do you usually do in your birthday? Mm, maybe go to a restaurant okay. for, to eat. Okay. Uh, do you usually go with someone else, with the family, with your friends? Uh, usually with my family. Okay. Um, so sometimes with friends okay. or both. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Thank you, Sebastian. So sorry, Alejandro. Yeah. Uh, can you choose a number, Alejandro? Two or three? Uh, three. Okay. Uh, then yeah. it's here. Okay, Daniel, can you do this question, please? Five. Okay. Well, uh, that's the one Alejandro chose. Can you? I'm sorry. Uh, we have, uh, I guess, four and three. Four. Four. Okay. Oh, I lost my phone. Uh, have you ever been in a situation like this before? Um, no. No. But um, I think that uh, if I uh, if I in this situation I uh, feel very sad. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
And do you know someone who has ever lost their cell phone? Mm, no, but, but no, not really. <laughs> okay. And if you lost your, your cell phone, uh, what would, would you do? Um, first, I really sad, and after I um, I'm going to a um, um, ATT uh, for report my number for inactive my number. Okay. Uh, and uh, after I I uh, um, communicate with my parents and my friends to um, to um, how do you say hacerles saber to let them know uh, to let them know and to let them know uh, that uh, lost my phone okay that's nice and that Okay, thank, yes, you. And that's okay, right. okay, thank you. And we have finally one number more and uh, number two. Let's see who is the number two. And uh, Rodrigo. And you have situation number three. That's the one that's left. Yeah. Uh, I missed my flight. Have you ever been in a situation like this before? Thanks of God. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what would you do if you were in a situation like this? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe if it's for for work, maybe report of my my boss that okay. maybe I need to to buy a, another ticket and and maybe yeah, if it's for for a client or something, maybe uh, send a, a message to the person that maybe um, uh, stay uh, waiting for me to say that I missed the, the flight. So to reprogram um, the, the the flight or maybe all the all the situation to to say um, that maybe I missed the, the flight now. OK, but. But. You can continue. But maybe if it's for for holidays or something like that, maybe maybe uh, first cry. <laughs> but but say well, um, maybe if if it's only for a day, okay, um, don't worry. But if it's for a, I don't know a week or something, maybe try to. Do the something for the, I don't know, uh, how do you say aerolinea? Excuse me? How do you say aerolinea? Airline. Airline? Ah, okay. Uh, maybe talk with something from the, with the airline to, to, to do something from that. And maybe if I need to, to, pay something like that or maybe if they can do something uh, it's okay if not it's okay and uh, buy a, another flight okay well that was a nice explanation Rodrigo thank you so much Thanks. well let's continue we only have uh, eight minutes left before we finish with this first lesson Solo tenemos ocho minutos más de clase, de casi terminamos. Um, do you have any questions with these two activities? And that you did very well. Well done. Do you have Not any questions? No. Okay. No. And the others? No, for my side, it's good. Okay. Alicia? No, no. Okay. Daniel, Rodrigo. 
Nope. Mm. Okay. This activity, no, but maybe how long it's this course? Uh, we finished at um, 30. We have seven minutes left. Yeah, but but all the, the course? Yeah. Well, I was told that you have to complete uh, 70 hours. Okay. 70 hours and they, well, the people that, that is in charge of this course will, will send you an email explaining all of that. Okay, okay. okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, when we almost finished. Well, we have a, a, a very brief homework. Eh, tenemos una pequeña tareita. No es muy extensa. Eh, bueno, well, you have to record a one minute audio answering these questions. You have to briefly introduce yourself again. You have to answer where do you work and what do you like about your job? And once you have recorded it, you have to send it to my email, which is this one that you can see on the screen. Eh, 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 bueno, la actividad consiste en que ustedes deben grabar un audio de aproximadamente un minuto respondiendo a las siguientes preguntas. Eh, se tienen que presentar brevemente de nuevo, diciendo su nombre, de dónde son, eh, dónde trabajan y qué les gusta o qué es lo que más les gusta de su trabajo. Y una vez que lo hayan grabado, eh, me lo tienen que enviar a mi correo, que es este. Uh, do you have any questions? No, no, no. Okay. Well, you have to send it. Uh, you, you can send it a uh, Thursday. Tienen hasta el jueves para enviar esta actividad. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay. You can use your cell phone, your laptop to record your voice. Okay. okay. Um, um, well, we have, um, I'm going to show you really quick the platform we'll be using to, to share comments, questions, and also share our activities. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. We have five minutes and you can you will pick it up. ¿Han utilizado la aplicación de Yammer anteriormente? Eh, no. No. Bueno. Ok. Voy a explicar esto brevemente. Eh, nosotros eh, vamos a estar utilizando la aplicación de Yammer que es parte de Microsoft Office. Con la cuenta que les envié a sus correos de Gmail, ustedes van a poder registrarse en esta aplicación. Es, es muy fácil, es como registrarse en cualquier otra aplicación como Outlook, entre otros. Tienen que registrarse con el correo que les envié, con el correo y la contraseña. Y una vez que se registren, yo los voy a agregar automáticamente a este grupo. Y en este grupo les explico rápido. Aquí es, es como un tipo de Facebook donde ustedes van a poder poner comentarios o cuando ustedes tengan alguna pregunta sobre la clase o alguna, alguna duda en general, la pueden poner aquí. Aquí igual vamos a compartir algunos archivos para que ustedes practiquen o hagan actividades. Igual les voy a poner comunicados cuando, si en algún caso se llega a cambiar la hora de la clase, entre otras cosas. Eh, ¿Está claro? Sí, sí. Sí, solo tienen que registrarse. Eh, pueden registrarse durante el día de hoy o mañana y yo los agrego a la clase. ¿De acuerdo? Yo sí. una cosa. Este, creo que, bueno, no sé si fue porque entró un poquito tarde no, por no tener el link, pero creo que no te he pasado micro de Gmail. ¿Te lo puedo pasar para que me agregues? Sí, para que quién eres. Disculpa. Daniel. Daniel, ¿sí? ¿Lo puedes mandar por el chat? Eh, por el chat, claro. Sí, sí, te lo mando. Sí, creo que en mi caso también. Bueno, te lo paso por el chat. Mm. Ok. 
Creo, es que... creo que más bien es el correo que nos pasaron, ¿no? O sea, el nuevo. Ajá, el correo que más, nos mandó. Más que por, más que por Gmail. Ayer les envié un correo por Gmail a Alicia, a Daniel, a Alejandro, a Rodrigo y a Sebastián. Sí, revisen su correo ah, de spam. El ajá. mío llegó a spam. Ah. Okay. Sí, yo creo que más bien eso. Porque no me... Pero si no lo recibieron, pues se ah, vuelven sí. a ver. Sí, sí ya, vi. ya estoy en spam. Gracias. ¿Sí lo ya, ya vi. Ok, pues eh, solo tendrían que registrarse en la plataforma de Yammer y pues yo lo voy a agregar automáticamente, como les comenté. Oh. ¿Hasta aquí alguna duda o pregunta? No, de mi lado no. 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 Okay. Sí. Uh, well, um, this was our first English lesson. I, feel, I hope you have found it uh, really interesting and useful. And if you don't have any other questions, uh, that was all for today. I'll see you on Thursday at from 8.30 to 9.30. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here today. Thank you. See you. Thank you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.